exclusive TV interview. A tearful and angry Kelly forcefully claimed his innocence against the sexual abuse charges he faces. And appearing later today in a court hearing in a separate child support case, Kelly was ordered back behind bars. Our Stephanie Gosk has the breaking details. Tonight, R. Kelly is back in custody, this time over failing to pay more than $160,000 in child support payments. As a storm of reaction swirls around his stunning interview with CBS News. I'm not Lucifer. I'm a man. I make mistakes. But I'm not a devil. And by no means am I a monster. The three-time Grammy winner lashing out angrily when asked about allegations of sexual misconduct with minors. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. I think this is kind of like weird. Well, you know what Dr. Phil said? When you get angry like that, R. Kelly, and do shit like that, you're guilty in psychology. Not by law, but psychology. Of sexual abuse and relationships with teenage girls have followed R. Kelly for more than a decade. Have you ever had sex no. with anyone under the age of 17? No. Never. No. Have okay. you broken any laws when it comes to women? Absolutely not. Last month, R. Kelly pleaded not guilty to 10 charges of sexual abuse involving four women, three of them minors. Wow. His arrest came soon after the release of the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly. Seven women were interviewed, all accused a 52-year-old of some form of sexual misconduct. Tim and Jondalyn Savage say R. Kelly is still holding their 23-year-old daughter, Joycelyn, against her will. What I saw on TV this morning about his way he acted when he got upset, I can only imagine what he does in behind closed doors. Joycelyn Savage says she wants to live with R. Kelly. Today, she called her family for the first time in two years. I'm very happy. How will we know you're happy when we don't hear from you in two years? Well, I have to go now. I love you, Jocelyn. I have to go now. Lester, a publicist for R. Kelly, says that the singer went to court today prepared to pay about half of what he owed in child support, adding that the judge told Kelly he would be behind bars until he paid it all. I know a lot of people think it might have been a risk for him to talk in that situation today, but obviously he has a forceful denial. Yep, he uh, certainly does. Stephanie, thank you. A week after his public takedown of President Trump, we've learned Michael Cohen...